So we open the second half the same way we opened the first half. Um, this time, instead of going inside zone, we give to Monroe on the jet sweep. Uh, but the play gets strung out, and he gets stopped for no gain. If we just go back, um, one difference to notice from the first half is they're in too deep, but Missouri, you see the safety screaming toward the line of scrimmage as soon as he sees that motion. So it's probably a mistake in the first play of the game when that safety doesn't come up um, to play the uh, jet sweep. But this is exactly the dichotomy this play is designed to create because if we're given to the inside zone, then we've just taken away the third level defender on this backside cut. So if we can make it through here, then potentially get a big gain. As it is, though, a couple things. Um, first, Davis is coming back here to try to pick up this linebacker. Between him and Johnson, they're supposed to create an alley for the sweep to run through. Um, and that's going to put your running back in a one-on-one -on -one with the defensive back. It's exactly what we want to do, pressure the alley. Um, issue here is uh, because this play, this safety does do a good job of coming up from pressure in this play, uh, CJ has to come a little bit wide here to create this alley, wider than you'd like, and he's uh, in the backfield. Also, Monroe has to string this out a little bit longer to allow CJ to get that block and allow him to cut up field. Um, because of that, this defensive end is able to run the line of scrimmage and get pressure on this play, which he's not supposed to be able to do. Um, so you can see Missouri commits to quick pressure on that play, um, but that way of defending this play with the safety screaming up to the line of scrimmage should open up the other options on this play, one of which is the inside zone like we talked about, another of which would be a play action pass off of this that then pressures um, the deep ball here off of a tight end or off a wide receiver. In this play you can see the a little package concept we've got here. Um, let's do a little back and forth motion here with the tight end. We run the inside zone, uh, so that split inside zone, looking for the cutback. You can see this gets stopped in the backfield essentially. So there's been a lot of talk about you know the quarterbacks making the decision at the line of scrimmage. If you look at alignment here, we're essentially facing nine box defenders. Um, this is a situation where you need the quarterback to go to the other part of this package. So you can see we've got a screen packaged out here with this, and that's what you'd like to see in this case. Um, when you look at the cushion that they're getting, this wide receiver, you've got nothing but space out here if you throw the screen, then you're putting Goodwin and the safety one-on-one -on -one in space with Goodwin and with outside leverage. Um, so that's what you'd rather see here. Instead, um, we're trying to run this uh, cutback against uh, an outnumber box. So we're in that offset eye look again here. Um, this time we run a counter to the short side of the field that gets broken up in the backfield. Um, if you watch the three tech here, um, Hopkins is going to come down and try to down block him. He sidesteps that uh, down block it's outside leverage, at which point Snow is going to try to trap him, um, and he runs right through that trap. He's already got leverage in the backfield, and he's able to blow the play up. Um, you know, on the one hand, you could say it's a failing of our offensive lineman, but it's also a tremendously athletic play from the three tech there. Um, sometimes you got to just um, give it up to a defender who makes a tremendous play. So here we're back to the goal line formation on first down. Um, you can see that Missouri has committed seven men to the line of scrimmage, which in my opinion is an appropriate response to this formation. Uh, we've got seven men on the line, so you've got to meet that with numbers. But as a result, um, we get the play action variety of this uh, formation and take a shot downfield. It's nice to see that the complementing piece is there to take advantage of uh, when a defense does align strongly against it.